So as you can see, a regular iPad 2. Um, what I can do from here is pretty much access a Windows uh, 7 Enterprise um, desktop um, straight out of a, a VM server sitting in our farm. Um, I connect via this 2x client that allows me to just put my credentials in and without any need for VPN it gets me right into the uh, work computer. Uh, this happens to be uh, Microsoft Online Offering Services or BPOS. Um, provides email through Outlook or or over the uh, you know OWA client if, if need be. Um, it also can do web conferencing like, such as live meeting, um, SharePoint, uh, online and also uh, instant messaging like uh, you know pretty much an IM communicator for Microsoft um, pretty fully functional set of tools um, I can bring from here native applications such as a Visio diagram and uh, do some work on it and you show basically I can change uh, different parameters here just a regular this year. even though it's uh, resource intensive um, it still runs pretty fluidly here I mean I have the power of server behind me which is great um, can also launch PowerPoint show the same uh, diagram in a PowerPoint slide also have the ability to do a right click function just a regular mouse or, or bring up a keyboard with this particular tool set um, the ability to look at local shares within, you know, uh, the different departments. I can pretty much access any particular file here. Um, go down to the different uh, directories and uh, let me see if I can pick my name here and just bring up any document I'd like to show, such as an Excel quote or maybe a, uh, a Word document uh, configuration output. Some of the tools are pretty uh, heavy uh, for the most part are the configurator tools uh, we use here for quoting different devices and as you can see um, you know it launches just as quick as it does in the regular desktop which is uh, you know, pretty impressive to be able to do it from a mobile device such as this. Also, have the ability to fully utilize a, a mainstream browser such as Google, right? Uh, Chrome, or I can even go into, you know, in this case IE9. Um, bring up any particular site and just get some content out of it uh, fairly quickly you can do a quick search on any particular subject And pretty much pull a, a web page and get the full benefits of of just uh, going through the different uh, you know menus and so pretty cool way to access your information. Feel like you're sitting at, at work, um, even though you could be remote. A lot of times I can do this out of a regular cell phone card and and just uh, log on to the server from there. Um, you know, big difference if you're looking, for example, at your own calendar, or maybe uh, you're sending an email to to uh, some folks, and you have the ability to, let's say, show everything as you're sitting in your desktop, or have the ability to move files right into SharePoint via Harmony, and it's something that you can do. Um, versus if you were to do your emailing here um, natively, it's just going to show. A regular mobile device in your signature you know it's just gonna be it I mean you can change this but the the functionality is, is good for mobile but in my opinion it's just much better to have a 
look and feel of a regular desktop at your disposal. The ability to download um, any particular file set, this particular VM, I mean, I created a system that is 40 gigs in size, but you can pretty much, you know, create the whatever size or increase the size on the fly without having to rely on the local device to, to take care of your files um, storage. And going back to the download piece, this is a flash based um, site that is basically giving me the full range of you know the the site has to offer and as you can see the uh, download speeds are are pretty good uh, from the server standpoint I mean you're looking at 92 megs here um, looks like about you know six six megs up time which is great um, if I were to compare it to something like a native tool, this happens to be a, an iPhone tool, which I'm using to record this video right now. Um, the results are quite different, it's just going over Wi-Fi basically. Although very good for browsing and downloading stuff, um, you can see the difference between a native uh, you know, iPad application versus uh, what the server is capable of. So this is a nutshell, a Windows 7 uh, running on the iPad. Hope you enjoy the video.